a um, quick first look at the uh, Seiko EFD. Yeah, it's quite a big lump of a unit with my hand. So you can see how big it is. It's uh, way bigger than the Eco Blue that I tested before. It says it's a 7.5 kilowatt. But, yeah, let me just turn the fan off. Just turn the cooling fan off a little bit, right? <clears throat> okay, have you seen that? It's a uh, seven and a half kilowatt. It's a single phase input, 220, and then a 380 volt, um, not to 380 volt output at up to 32 amps. The nice thing about this one, it goes up to 3000 hertz. Uh, a lot of the spindles are 800 hertz. Um, so this one, hopefully, will cover it. Uh, today I'm running a 400 hertz in um, spindle. And it's a, a two pole spindle, which is 24,000 RPM at 400 hertz. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of all this. Okay. At the moment, I've got the VFT set to 200 hertz ish and eight seconds startup time. So if I press the start button. The cooling fan comes in on the VFD and the spindle is now running up to 12,000 RPM. It's already been warmed up so uh, I can play with the uh, frequency and take it straight up to 300 Hz. Breaking resistors inside, which you can see there. So if I press the stop button, it does actually come down to a stop in eight seconds. So that's the first look at the Seiko. It seems to be quite a nice little unit. Might be the answer to uh, a lot of the Chinese um, spindle, ATC spindle. Um, problems where I can't find a 400 hertz, I'm sorry, 800 hertz inverter for sensible money um, to run off single phase. This might just be a, I'll keep me posted once I've tested a bit more. <laughs> 